All right, Tim. So I wanted to do a, a review of this for shits and giggles while Sanderson's in the background screaming. Um, the first time I've ever done a hammer review. So my terminology is going to be a little different. Okay. Got that sweet moped in the background. Okay. So what I would say first is that I would want the ball past there before you open up that that left knee like you're opening it up prior to the ball getting there I would want that ball pushing past from the hands always push from your hands and you almost sort of force it up there here keep it a little flatter on that first turn Same thing here. That ball is about to get to the knee and you open that up. I would want that pushing past more. Push past more. And as soon as that right grounds, hammer from the hands, hammer from the hands. And what happens is that from the hands pushing and your gut as a, you know, think this is a big thing too you could think you know when you're about to do a deadlift or a clean you always are gonna inhale deep and that's gonna create a really good shelf think about that shelf you know good gut control hammer from the hands around and then as you build as you accelerate it this is where it starts to to you start to get a better orbit you don't need to force that orbit like you did here in that first turn because that sort of fucked up that first turn here Okay, I don't really like that start position either. Catch. I feel like here you're you're right. Getting into double supports a little slow too. It should be. I feel like your right should be down here. So a little quicker. Don't float it as much in this position. Like put it down to so drop that knee a little bit more to put the right down faster, just a hair more, so that the right gets down. Like in between two and three, you're a little up here. And that causes you to get a real tight and bunched, which I understand you're gonna end up tightening up here. But again, that right's getting real high which that's why having that strength to sit that ass back and keep those arms longer and that right you know I would want that right down right about here okay and then that's going to give you that entire time to get the implement past that left knee for that final push okay no, I just want to do this for fun because I never, I've never done a high man. Rhythm's not horrible though. I just think that first turn, because you're pushing, like forcing it up, it, it really delays the first turn a bit.